Hey everyone, my name is Philip, and welcome to my channel. Are you thinking about becoming a Salesforce admin? Are you having trouble landing interviews after you apply to jobs? Do you suffer from information overload and just don't know where to go and how to continue? Well, don't worry because I was in your shoes just a few months ago. In this video, I'm gonna show you the four-step process that I use to land my first Salesforce admin job in 2022. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do if you haven't done anything yet is to go to Trailhead and sign up for a free profile and complete the trail mix, how to prepare for my Salesforce admin exam. It's going to look something like this. You're gonna to go to Trailhead. When you create an account, it's going to look something like this. And then you're going to want to go to learn and trail mix. And when you go to trails mix, you're gonna type in prepare for your Salesforce administrator credential. And you're gonna to wanna to complete this. This will give you a great understanding of what's gonna be on the Salesforce admin exam, as well as what the job entails and how to actually perform it very well. Step two of the four step process you're gonna to want to do is you're going to want to get your Salesforce admin certification. Like we talked about in the previous step where you are on Trailhead and you are doing the trail mix, preparing for your Salesforce admin exam. You're gonna to wanna to get your administrator certification. So. I'm gonna show you some resources that I used in order to pass my exam. And the first resource that I used is called Focus on Force. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is purchase their administrator certification study guide and their administrator certification practice exam. Both of these cost $19 each and in total you're out 40 bucks, but you have a study guide and practicing practice exams that you can take in order to prepare yourself for the certification exam. The third step in our four step process that you're gonna to want to do, is you're gonna to want to update your LinkedIn profile. So I'm gonna show you here my, an example of my LinkedIn profile. As you can see, I have a clear profile picture. I have a clear background cover photo that shows that I'm a certified administrator. It also shows that I am a ranger. It also says here clearly that I'm a Salesforce certified professional and I'm ready to leverage Salesforce to help your business. So you want something where people, i.e. recruiters and hiring managers to come and see immediately like, oh, this person is a certified administrator. So let's look at his profile and see what they're about. As I scroll down into the heading, you can see I have my name. I have that I'm a Salesforce certified administrator in my headline so that recruiters and hiring managers know I am a Salesforce certified administrator. You want to put what you are in this in this headline. You also want to use hashtags and what you talk about. So for me, I talk about Salesforce administrator and Salesforce admin. I also, as you go further down, I have my contact info linked and I also have linked my portfolio website, which we will talk about in the fourth step later on in this video. And as we scroll down in, in this, as we scroll down, you can see that I have my featured sections up where I post regularly about my journey in Salesforce. As we continue to scroll down, my activity section, you can see that I'm engaging with people on LinkedIn. And this just shows that I have some sort of authority or understanding when it comes to Salesforce and more specifically the Salesforce admin role, which is what I was trying to get and obtain. When I scroll down even further in my about section, when I expand it, you can see that I wrote an about section that talks about that I am a Salesforce professional and I have hands-on experience with the Salesforce platform. When I scroll further down, you can see that I have my previous job descriptions. And what I did for my, for my past jobs is I put the skills that are related to a Salesforce admin in my description. I also have my education and my licenses and certifications. So my super badges, my certifications on Trailhead, all of that goes on LinkedIn because that is what the hiring managers and recruiters are gonna see. And then as I go further down, I even added my skills. And in my skills section, I have salesforce.com administration. And another tip that I, that I do is when I connect with people, I endorse them. And what happens is sometimes, not all the time, they'll endorse you back for the top one. So I put Salesforce as my top skills so that people can endorse me. What I'll do is I'll, I'll link my 
LinkedIn profile below in the description so that you can take a look at it and connect with me. Okay, so the final step in our four step process to landing a Salesforce admin role in 2022 is to create a portfolio website. I can't stress this enough how important it is to create a portfolio website and to document your journey. As you saw with my LinkedIn profile, I'm posting my articles, blogs that I write on my portfolio website, and I'm just staying forefront of mind for recruiters and hiring managers to see that A, I know what I'm talking about and that I am passionate about Salesforce. So I know what I'm doing when it comes to doing certain tasks that a Salesforce admin does. So as you can see on my portfolio site, I have my blog posts so that when hiring managers come from my LinkedIn website, they see that I know how to do the tasks that a Salesforce admin does. I also have my certifications linked. So they see that I'm a certified administrator. I also have my resume. So if they wanted to just take a look at my resume, they can do that on my portfolio website. This just gives you authority in the Salesforce ecosystem and to hiring managers and recruiters, letting them know that you know how to perform the job task. As you can see, it is not overwhelming to land your first Salesforce admin role. I promise if you work on this four step process, you will land a Salesforce admin role in 2022. If you like this video, please hit the like button and also comment down below your LinkedIn profile and your portfolio profile so that we can connect and I can endorse you on your skills and I can just check out your profile to give you any tips that I think might help you out. Also subscribe to the channel and share it with a couple friends you think might provide value to. If you haven't yet, check out my previous videos and I will see you guys in the next one.